two, three. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the INA Tech Changes Team, your global United Schools of Health Mental Health and Daily Studies. Hi everyone, today on the Hania Show, Queen to Queen, our guest is a pageant competitor who also competed with me at Exquisite Global United 2022. Miss Ex Exquisite Global United 2022, Megan, is a human trafficking advocate discussing mental health and human trafficking. Welcome, Megan Teresa. Hi, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. I know we've been trying to figure out the right time to do this interview, and here we are finally. Yes. So, right. Let's get started. So my first question is... Um, Welcome, Megan. My first question is uh, for you is how did your journey begin in pageantry? So I've actually thought about pageantry for a while, but I didn't know anything about it uh, or what to expect, uh, except what I saw on Miss Universe or Miss World. About a day after I was, I was really thinking about it one day, um, I saw an ad on Facebook for one, and I contacted the director, and she encouraged me in the journey, and I realized it was a great way not only to have a platform for awareness for my charity, but also growing in my own self-confidence. I was going to sign up for that particular system, but then COVID and lockdowns happened. After all was said and done with that, um, the sister system was no longer running. So I started doing a charity pageant with the director who I was also speaking with for a similar amount of time. At that particular pageant, I met a lovely lady who offered to be my pageant coach, who is also in the Global United system and just won Ms. Champion Global United this year. That's amazing. Thank you. And uh, Megan, I think many people have never heard of human trafficking or even know what, where it happens. Can you explain more about this? Of like course. what is human trafficking exactly? Even for like me, I often hear the term human trafficking, but I don't know what does it mean. Definitely. So trafficking is either forced labor or sexual exploitation by force, fraud, or coercion. It happens in every single city and every single town in the world and can happen to absolutely anybody, including men and boys. It starts with a deceiving grooming process and then moves into devaluing the person and either introducing drugs or directly selling people and even beating them and manipulating them into thinking that if they don't comply, they'll go, uh, the traffickers will go after their families and things. I think the main misconception that I hear a lot is that it's something that happens overseas, uh, but actually it's right here in our own backyards and it, it is right here happening to our neighbors wow i never knew that that that's 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 really that's interesting but at the same time that's depressing and megan how does human trafficking relate to mental health in people's everyday life well one specific sort of heart behind the type of abuse and especially human trafficking is something almost all of us have attracted at one time or another, and that is narcissistic abuse. It's kind of a spirit behind trafficking, particularly more so when the trafficker lures through a relationship or a dating app. It also starts or can start with the love bombing, then devaluing and manipulating and eventually lead to the discard and even possibly stalking and or hoovering afterwards. Of course, it can also look different for different people and situations. So if you think of narcissistic abuse in a similar way as trafficking, it truly is all around us. That being said, it also either creates or is a product of fear or devaluing our own selves, sort of thinking of ourselves as less than or constantly vulnerable. Uh, one thing about trafficking is the inconsistency. At times, uh, the trafficker re-love bombing and then devaluing again and creating sort of a Stockholm syndrome where the abused believes they are in love with the abuser. It's exactly the same in narcissistic abuse. Trafficking is essentially narcissistic abuse on steroids. Wow, I didn't know that, that there was a thing called narcissistic abuse until now. But mm -hmm. that's like something, I think it also comes in, in, the, in like when you talk about just like, um, with pretty much like with friends or with anyone in your peers, right? That this can happen to anyone at any time. Like depending on how your friendship goes, depending on how your relationship goes, it could go like that, right? Yes, definitely. That's interesting. Yeah. And uh, Megan, what advice would you give to someone who is dealing with uh, this? 
I would start with the self value part, learning to value yourself, being 100% comfortable in your own skin and confident in who you are at the core, including loving your own story. Loving your story is always included in loving yourself fully. I think ultimately it comes down to knowing fully down to the core of who you are, that you are fully loved by God. Uh, to fully feel this deep down and sometimes can sometimes take practice. Once that is in place, it becomes almost second nature to realize that certain ways people treat you are no longer acceptable and you feel that and know that this is, it's not something you would tolerate. Eventually, you'll become stronger in creating healthy boundaries and communicating that in a gentle and confident manner. It's also important to remember that true confidence is quiet and insecurity is loud. Narcissists will always try, but you can become better equipped to go no contact and continue with no contact, uh, as well as no longer being enmeshed with how they feel or think of you. So it becomes a stillness inside of you that you just know who you are regardless of what they think or say. That being said, you will also feel less vulnerable or as if uh, less like you have a victim mentality and then you become less attractive for traffickers to think that they found a vulnerable enough person. Uh, although many of them still try in certain arenas, they prefer what's easy and more codependent. Wow. That's a lot to say. And I yeah. and I agree with you. Be comfortable in the skin you're in, right? Yeah. And like, you know, self-love and always comes first. And yeah. it's hard to tell when people are dealing with this. Mm -hmm. And um, so the last thing I was going to add in that uh, to all the viewers, make sure you check out uh, Miss Global United, Miss Exquisite Global United 2022, Megan Teresa on uh, YouTube. With Miss, uh, with the uh, with the YouTube channel of Miss Exquisite Global United 2022, as well as Facebook as well. That is uh, Miss Global United, Miss Exquisite Global United 2022, and also be sure to check out Global United pageants, and as well be sure to check out um, the next episode of the Hanya Show Queen to Queen, as well as uh, the Hanya Show itself and uh, Hanya Travels, and be sure to tune into the be tuned into uh, next week for another episode. So thank you everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.